You ready? Ready. All right. Go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Howdy folks, here at Danger First, we love potato guns, but we feel that they've been living in the last century for a little while. Yeah, almost always when you see a potato gun, it's muzzle loaded, so really it's it's more of a potato musket. Yeah. Sometimes they're breech loaded, but you've got to unscrew something on the back and then spray in the hairspray after you've pushed in the potato and then screw it back together and it takes a while. Exactly. So we thought, hey, why don't we build a cartridge loaded potato gun? So here it is, it's the Patowitzer. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a closer look at the cartridges. Yeah. All right, so right here we have our finished PVC shell with a 3D printed projectile in it. So we load it in the breech here, lock it into place. We have our two contacts, one on top, one in the center, and those actuate are actuated by the barbecue lighter. Press, and boom, there goes our 3D printed shell. And it really does sound like patow. Patow. <laughs> Some of you are probably wondering, why do you have a potato gun that isn't shooting potatoes? Well, we tried potatoes at first and we decided that they were just way too inconsistent. So that's when we turned to 3D printing for creating our shells. So what we're doing here is we're prepping the shells for our shell-loaded potato gun. Uh, the shells are made of PVC pipe. They have a the contacts for the barbecue lighter to ignite the propane, which is what we're using as fuel here. We'll give it a rough five count, fill it with propane, and then we'll stick our shell in and uh, go from there. Yep, and what I'm doing here is uh, I'm painting the perimeter of the shell with a little bit of petroleum jelly because it's nice and viscous. This will do two things. It'll hold the shell in place so it doesn't uh, fall out of, the, ca of the, uh, the, the cartridge. And also it'll provide a seal to keep all the propane in there and maintain our fuel to air mixture. Mm -hmm. All right, is that one ready to roll, Evan? Yeah, that's ready. All right, let's do this. Okay, you got that? Got it. All right, you got your watch. We'll just do Mississippi. We'll do Mississippis. We're using the extremely precise method of counting Mississippis. Yes. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi cap. All right, and seal it up. Yep, providing a seal. the The petroleum jelly will also help to pro to to create a seal between the cartridge and the barrel of the gun once this is inserted. So it has a couple of uh, purposes. There we go. And then we just do this three more times, hey. actually, or as many more as we can stomach. Yeah. So we have a lot of cartridges to go. So we 3D printed these shells, and we 3D printed them using Matter Hackers PLA. It's a great product. They're 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 great people to work with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they offer a whole variety of things. We've been using their PLA and messing around with their Nylon X, which is awesome stuff. You should go check it out. Mm -hmm. um, but they also offer all sorts of other filaments and machines and printing accessories. So if that's um, up your alley, go ahead and go check them out. And the link is in the description of this video. That looks good to go. You know, that looks precisely right. Look at how precise we are. There is everything. exactly 13.75 grams of Vaseline on Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Whoop. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, the slow insert. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Need a little bit more on this one. Did I tell you about the time I was at sailing camp? I mean, imagine, because, like, could you imagine the feeling of, of having to, like, rub a bunch of Vaseline on a watermelon? <laughs> Dude, it, was like, it was like a half-inch thick coat, too. That was the other thing. All right, All right. you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, here we go. In. Go. Oh, no. Let's go for it. Go. Go. Woo! <laughs> oh, it's just a giant bullet. I know. I know. Shoot it. Are you ready? Go. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to like, share, and subscribe.
If you want to try some of the sweet Matter Hackers PLA that we used when we uh, made our shells, you can find the link in the description of this video. And if you'd like to follow us on what we're doing, not when we're posting videos, feel free to look us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Danger First. And until next Friday, see you then. Oh, <laughs> oh it's so sad. No. <laughs>